Hey guys, welcome back to Ash Art Books. Today I'm here to talk about my favorite books for the third quarter of the year, which was July, August, and September. So uh, if you haven't seen these videos before, basically I just kind of go over my favorites for the quarter. It kind of helps me to like think about which ones were my favorite, and I just think it's fun to kind of condense all of the books um, I've read for those couple months into one video. I always love watching these, so hopefully you guys like watching them as well. My first favorite for this quarter was Colty um, by Mariana Zapata, and this was a book about a female soccer player, and I just really loved it. Mariana Zapata has just a way of really digging into her characters and having that slow burn romance that just makes you swoon. <laughs> Um, I just really enjoyed it. It was amazing on audiobook and this is one that's really stuck with me. I feel like sometimes that's how I can tell if a book really kind of resonated and really made an impact is if I can remember a few months later because if you read a lot of books they kind of do blend together sometimes. So this one is about Sal who's a female soccer player and she's always grown up kind of idolizing this other male soccer player um, for her whole life and basically named Colty um, and basically he becomes her coach because he's retired from soccer and it kind of turns out that he may not be the exact person she thought he was it was so good it's kind of a hate to love but also like a friends to love it had everything you want in it if you want a good sports romance I don't even like soccer it's not that I'm against it but I just don't watch soccer and I still absolutely loved it so if you want a good romance that's a slow burn it has just a lot of good character development as well definitely check out Colty my next favorite was the Black Dagger Brotherhood I'm just gonna kind of say the whole thing was my favorite I've only read the first two books so far which I do not actually have in physical form because I listened to both of them on audiobook and they were really good on audiobook um, but this was definitely a favorite because I think I mentioned I read the first one a long time ago and I just really loved revisiting it and reading the second book and it kind of really sucks you in. Um, I am looking forward to reading the third one, I just haven't quite got to it, but the first two were fantastic. If you don't know, um, the Black Dagger Brotherhood is basically a brotherhood of vampires and basically each book is about a different person um, or a different couple I guess you should say. Um, J.R. Ward just really has an addicting writing style to me. It was so fantastic. It had a little bit of everything in it too and I just really enjoyed kind of diving into the world of the Black Dagger Brotherhood so that was definitely a standout for me for this quarter. My next favorite I'm going to mention quickly because I know I've talked about this series so much on this channel recently but that is just the New York series by Sarah Morgan. So these are the three that I've read so far which are, oh that's upside down, <laughs> so it's Sleepless in Manhattan, uh, Sunset in Central Park, and Miracle on Fifth Avenue and they're just so cute. Um, I just, I can't get enough of this series. I really want to read the next one. I was just trying to read a couple of things before I got to it, but I just, I can't say enough good things about Sarah Morgan's writing, and she's definitely a new favorite author for me. I've been like kind of looking at her backlist and trying to actually pick out some of her Christmas books to read during like the holidays, and if you want just a really sweet love story with a little bit of spice in there too, um, but also a book really about friendship and kind of be growing up and like becoming who you are, I really recommend this series. Um, I'm sure all of her other books are fantastic as well. I just haven't read them. Um, I just, I don't know anyone, like I recommended this book to a couple of people now and everyone I know who's read it has really, really enjoyed it. So each book's about a different girl, a different friend. The first three are about a friend group and then I think it kind of goes to other people they know after that. Um, I just can't say enough good things. If you want a good contemporary romance, definitely check out this series. It takes place in New York too, so it has a really fun setting. And I feel like over the past three months, like this is a standout series because it really did kind of introduce me to a new favorite author. So another favorite is Cake by Jay Bingston. This is one of those books that I don't know exactly why I loved it so much or love it. I read it really soon after I moved and I don't know if maybe I just needed like a comforting read or something, um, but this is kind of a new adult romance. I guess you'd say it's a rock star romance, but it's not your typical rock star because he's not like, you know, a complete like man whore or like a kind of bad person. He doesn't have any like really bad debilitating habits or anything and he has baggage but it's not to the level sometimes you see. I just loved it. It was a really sweet story. Basically our rock star character meets our main character. What's her name? Um, Casey. So it's Casey Caldwell and Jake McAllister and they meet 
I believe they needed a wedding if I'm remembering right and I just this book kind of makes me feel all warm and cozy when I think about it it's one I kind of want to reread but it's a bit of a chunky book so I don't know if I'll get into it right now but it was just one of those books I picked up on a whim at a used bookstore and I heard a few um, things about it but not much and I am so glad that I did I don't know if you want something that's just not honestly it wasn't anything like you know the plot line wasn't too original I mean if I'm being honest it was something that you do see a lot you see like a normal girl meets a rock star but it was executed so well and it just made me fall in love with these characters and I just wanted to know what happened like I literally would read about their entire life like I want to know like exactly what happens when they're 80 years old like it's one of those things so if you want a good like romance like that but also just a really good story I really recommend this one another favorite from these past couple months is one I think a lot of people will say is a favorite for the past couple months which is to all the boys I've loved before by Jimmy Han I don't have the book because I listen to them on audiobook but I, like many, many other people, um, watched the movie and then read the books. I read the first two. I still haven't read the third book, but I do plan on eventually reading it. Um, this is one of those series that like people, mainly my best friend, have been telling me to read for a really, really long time. And I just never picked it up, but the movie kind of pushed me to. It was adorable and I felt like I couldn't not mention it for these for this last quarter because I watched that movie at least three or four times now. It's adorable and I loved the books. Lara Jean is just adorable. She's cute. I loved the story and how much it was about her and her family just as much as it was about like a love story. Um, I really liked the development in the second book and it was just, it was so cute. Like that's the best word for it. So um, if you for some reason haven't picked it up, if you're like me and you don't always love um, like a young adult contemporary, I definitely suggest giving it a try because I didn't know if I'd like it and I still really really enjoyed it. Another favorite was one I finished last month and that was Nordic King by Karina Hale. I loved this book. It was one that I loved when I was reading it but it's also one of the another one that stuck with me and I really want to reread it already. It was just really well done. So this follows a king who hires a nanny to take care of his two girls after his wife passes away a few years ago. He's really kind of closed off and kind of secluded himself because of things that happened in the past. And she is just a really bright, sunny person who really just brings life back to him and his family and kind of the castle, I guess you'd say, because they are royalty. Um, it was so cute and I just, I loved it so much. It was a really well done romance too because sometimes the whole nanny storyline just doesn't work for me. This one was done really well because to me it was a bit of a slow burn. Like it didn't happen right away, which worked well. Cause I mean, I think having her get together with him at the beginning would have been not work well. Um, so I just really loved it. It was so cute. If you want a royalty romance, um, this is probably my favorite I've read in the last year. I am a complete lover of a royal romance and this one was probably up there as one of my top favorites. The two main characters were just so different but they brought out such good characteristics in each other. It was perfect. So um, also Karina Hale's books are in Kindle Unlimited so if you have that go check it out because it's free. And my last favorite for this quarter is Come Back to Me by Neela Gray. This is another book that I had heard about for a really long time and I'd actually owned it for a little bit of time before I read it and I don't know why and I was kind of kicking myself for not picking it up sooner because it was so good. Also my main character Jessa who is basically in love with her best her brother's best friend Kit. Um, she kind of has been for a really long time. Their, her brother and her and his best friend Kit are both in the military. So it's a military romance which can definitely always lead to a lot of emotional times I think. This one was really emotional but it was so good. I just, it was another book that sucked me in. I couldn't put it down. I was a little wary going in just because sometimes I think military romances can have really bittersweet endings. Um, and you know, but I still gave it a chance and I absolutely adored this book. I just loved the way that Kit and Jessica got together. I thought that their relationship was really kind of normal and it was kind of based in a reality, which I think, you know, it's something that could actually happen, which sometimes I think doesn't happen in books which is okay but it's also nice to have a little bit of a refreshing like you know you might actually see this they had real world problems overall I just thought this was a really well done book and I highly recommend you guys those are all of my favorite books for the third quarter of the year let me know what some of your favorites were for the third quarter I absolutely love hearing and finding new favorites thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye